Good morning. It's 22.11. It's Sunday. Uh, Beck and I have just arrived at the shop and we've opened up. We've not got huge expectations of today because we've not even advertised our hours on Facebook. People do know we're open on a Sunday, but I think we said different hours, didn't yeah. we, hun? Yeah. We're going to put a post up on Facebook just to let people know that we are indeed open and what our times are. Although I think both of us have got very realistic expectations that Sunday could be very well a zero sales day. And we're going to just concentrate on uh, getting work done. We've got some shipping to do, eBay shipping. Uh, which is great uh, so I'm gonna get on and do that and any sorting out etc that needs to be done and any maintenance of the shop that needs to be done we're gonna get on and do that as well one of the items that I need to take off the shop floor and uh, package up is this ET figure 12 inch figure he sold last night on eBay so I've got to take him off the system um, well actually technically it should automatically be done but I'm going to double check that the system is working and it's been removed from our website from sell to. I've just finished doing a little bit of social media, um, taking a few photos of some products, let people know that we're open on Instagram and on our Facebook page and now it's time to get some orders picked and shipped. I've got a couple of RC parts to get out of these boxes now. A little update, we've actually had our first customers so that was fantastic. It was actually a couple walking past um, and I think they'd walked past before um, with someone that looked at the, the Yoda mug we had, the baby Yoda the, from the Mandalorian, so the child, technically the child mug, and um, they came in and bought that off. Um, it was actually the last one, so they bought that off display. Uh, so that's fantastic news. We um, got our first sale of the Sunday, and it's I, obviously it doesn't on its own just make it worthwhile, but overall it's a good feeling because it just makes you realize that there is potential and it's just a case of building it and they will come hopefully that's the plan um, right now I'm going to carry on with some shipping so um, I want to get that done and caught up so that tomorrow I don't have to worry about it in the morning we've had quite a few customers stopping at the window whilst they're out on their dog walks but we've not had any more walk-ins since the um, earlier sale that I talked about um, I've been busy getting the shipping done. I'm really happy that everything's boxed up and ready to go, so it keeps me up to date. Any more orders as they come in, I'm just going to pick and ship them straight away. So just so that on that Monday morning, I can we can just focus on the shop. Right, guys, it's time for a little bit of a vlog up today. Um, very, very um, happy to report that we had a little flurry of customers. Um, and we've had some sales from it and I'm absolutely thrilled. Um, I suppose having low expectations can be a good thing. Um, like I said, I still feel that the general, um, the general local population isn't accustomed to shopping on a Sunday, but it's great that there have been a couple of people that have popped in, they've seen the window during the week, etc., or or they've been out with their kids previously and this is a chance for them to be out w without their kids and so they've been able to pop in and pick up some gifts. Um, and we've had some nice little sales come through t um, today so far. So very, very pleased um, that we did make the effort to come out. Um, and I'm, I'm just really glad. Um, me and Beck have just been chatting about it and how it's just it's just nice that we can... Oh, she, she's here by the way in case. She has, she's been hiding in the vlogs. She's not in vlog mood today. <laughs> Um, so that's as much as you're going to see really of her. Um, but yeah, we've been talking about how it will take time to build this up. Um, you know, we have to kind of become um, a part of the community, a part of the high street, and eventually people will realise that it's a, uh, it's a regular thing for us. And we've got to make sure that it's sustainable for us as well. Um, obviously, we need to bear in mind how many hours we're putting in, etc. But I do feel that if I was... Um, in an ideal world, I think the Sunday is going to be in the long run more valuable than perhaps one of the weekdays would be. Sunday is a day where people are off work, so they're more likely to be out and about. And I feel at the moment, um, for me, Sunday, and not just at the moment, long term, I think Sunday would be a stronger day. And ideally, if we can build up enough of a regular customer base that knows that we're open on a Sunday and comes out and shops with us, then I think I'd be open to maybe cutting one of the weekdays off as a day off perhaps or a shorter day. Um, at the moment I've got no plans on cutting any days though because it's working because I'm loving it. Today has really turned out to be a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it very much. Um, even Rebecca started smiling. 
<laughs> there we go. <laughs> Again, no, she's not. She's that just wasn't the name of the proper smile. You, that'll that have to. A, that will have to do. That will have to do. Um, yeah, so we've actually had a couple of sales come through on eBay as well, which is nice. It's always nice when you're in the shop and you get some eBay sales come through of the shop stock. Uh, we sold this Jake figure from Adventure Time. He comes with a little BMO as well. That's a really nice little sale. Uh, we also sold one of the Living Dead Doll pencil sharpeners as well. So that's brilliant. Um, and also, Deborah has also picked up from our website the second Death Note 3D lenticular print so thank you so much Deborah, for your continued support and I really hope your son enjoys uh, the second print um, as well um, so apparently he's kind of crazy into manga at the moment and particularly Death Note so it's good for us the other thing I want to talk about is the community spirit is so good we actually had um, one of my other earlier customers was actually the person that runs the Smelly Bakery which is a uh, bakery which does it's not a bakery at all actually it's, not it's a bakery. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah it's, oh, oh she's coming it into the vlog now yeah because okay. i like this shop okay go on um so it's actually kind of like lush so they do like bath bombs except and it's like independent that. and yeah. made on site isn't it yeah, yeah. she actually makes them as well. she makes the bath bombs and so. the sets and beck actually bought the girls, because the girls won't watch oh, this yeah, either. Oh yeah, they won't watch yeah, actually. They, yeah, our girls won't watch this. We bought them a couple of Christmas presents girls from there. <laughs> and um, she came in and she picked up a few bits earlier and we were chatting and I was like, oh my god, I've got like no bags at all, no carrier bags. And she, she, she was so kind of her, she's so sweet, she just dropped off some biodegradable shopping bags. Um, you know, just dropped them off out of the goodness of her heart and that's like, that's just so sweet and kind and it's just nice to see that kind of community spirit and it makes you want to really be part of it as well so um that's just been a lovely touch yeah, hasn't really it so nice. yeah um really happy overall um i'm gonna now get on and do the packaging um for, of the items that i've just sold um and then i'll get back to you i want to say a big thank you to matthew who reached out to us on our shop facebook page uh, because he had a couple of items that um he had that he thought would work for the shop and yeah I've, we've made a deal and i'm really happy with it he was actually looking to sell these items himself but unfortunately due to obviously the current situation lots of fairs etc have been cancelled um but these items will be a perfect fit for the shop and i'm really grateful for um matthew reaching out to us to 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 offer them to us and i'm, I'm really pleased that um we made a deal we've made it to four o'clock and overall i'd say it's been a really good day it's been a really yeah. good day um it's been productive lots of customers coming mm -hmm. in uh lots of sales um we've caught up with the shipping which has been brilliant mm -hmm. um and yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow now and getting yeah. some stock in um i really do i i'm just yeah i'm just really one thing I think we're both learning is how we can actually benefit from like waves of interest in stuff mm -hmm. and how we need to be quick on that on that situation. So for example, we're getting so much demand for Mandalorian stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so with a bit more experience, I think we would definitely have ordered more of it because yeah. I reckon and not just Mandalorian, just Star Wars in general. Like it's had so much more demand, we would have had more sales mm -hmm. had we had that stock. I think even though we've had really good weekend of yeah. sales, it would have been even better had we had those items in. And we should have known because we did order some, but yeah, mm. I mean we probably just didn't order enough. Yeah, um, to cope rookie with, mistake. Like, the demand really. Yeah, um, which is a shame, but it's something that we have to learn. We're going to learn exactly. Yeah. So really please, we're going to wrap. I'm up. excited. <laughs> Why is that? Because I'm going home. Okay. Okay. And Christmas tree's going up tonight. Yeah, you're doing all that, isn't it? So, yes. Yeah, she's putting Christmas tree up. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching the vlog. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. Uh, we'll wrap it up here, um, mm -hmm. and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Yes. Bye.